If the monitor wall is not configured with self-splicing, then the display of each screen is the same signal picture. How to turn four identical pictures into one picture? First of all, you need to set the ID of each screen. Press the ID setting key on the remote control. The top row is the first row, and the left column is the first column. The default line number and column number of the screen in the upper left corner are 1, so there is no need to set them. To set the first line in the second column of this screen, you need to input the corresponding 5-digit random code, here is 62198. After input, the interface will automatically jump to the line number, where the line number is 1, so there is no need to modify it. Because this column is a second column, you need to change the column number to 2. You can press the right button on the remote control. Then, after setting the ID of each screen, press the menu of the remote control to enter the self-splicing setting of the large screen. First, set the number of rows and columns of each screen to 2, because the size of the large screen is 2 rows and 2 columns. If the large screen has 12 large screens with 3 rows and 4 columns, you need to set the number of rows to 3 and the number of columns to 4. After setting the number of rows and columns, you need to set the row position and column position of each screen in splicing settings. This can refer to the ID number of the screen. For example, if 0101, the row position is set to 1, the column position is set to 1, the large screen ID in the upper right corner is 0102, the row position is 1, the column position is 2, and so on.